All right guys welcome to another video in this video I'm gonna show you a fairly common problem but not so common a problem and it's called error link fail in some other machines like SmartJet and all of that you can say link error or you can say link com error but as long as it puts the word link in there uh, that is the error right so regardless of whether it says error link fail or link error or whatever it is this exactly is where to look if you have that problem now error link fail is an error that is caused by when this board right here does not sense that board on top of the machine so when the driver board is not communicating with the carriage board that is this board where these two cables go on top that's where you have error link fail and i'm gonna demonstrate exactly how that works to you in a minute before i do that i'm gonna turn on this machine now uh and sh and show you uh that the machine doesn't actually have that error to begin with So it's going to initialize, 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 and then it's going to tell you uh, by direction. So this is home for large format machines. So as long as your machine gets here, that error is not there. But to demonstrate that error now, I'm going to turn off this machine. And by the way, always turn off the machine before you do anything. By the way, before we continue, I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell so that YouTube can recommend us to other people. So let's do it. I'm going to turn off the machine now. Turn off. Wait for a few seconds when you turn off your machine so that the capacitors can drain of current before you start messing with things. Now, this white cable here is the cable that does the connection between this board and that board. The cable is pretty long. The cable is snakes through this very long cable. So we project that the cable should be about eight to um, seven to eight feet long as long as the length of the machine or maybe longer right so now when this cable is not connected on either side or the cable is damaged uh that's when this board will not communicate to that other board and if this cable is fine however and you still get error link fail then one of these two boards are bad it's either this board or that board unfortunately it's very difficult to tell if i know any other way i'll tell you but right now is either you check another machine or check the board somewhere else that is if you are sure these cables are brand new that's after you have bought brand new cables and tested so now let's confirm that this cable is the problem so i'm going to take this cable out now just yeah stick it out from the board like that so you see that great now i'm going to turn on the machine now machine is coming on initializing the first thing you'll notice is that the initialization will take a very long time to happen very long time to happen and when it eventually does it's going to give you error link fail as you will see in a minute good so you see error link fail after a long wait as a matter of fact you have to wait for about one minute and a half now in your machine maybe your machine is a smart jet all those blue screen machines it's going to give you something like link or com error communication is i am not communicating this board is not communicating with that board right so when you get that error you don't have to panic but you should because it's signaling a really dangerous problem but uh first and foremost you turn off the machine right which is what we'll do so when you get this kind of error you turn off the machine like this turn off give it like a few seconds to drain then you plug the cables back now when you're plugging the cable check for the pins you can see the pins right make sure that each pin is aligning with each pin of the slots right great so you just stick it in like so Now, you want to ex exercise extreme caution when you're doing things like this because 
you may damage the cable if you're not careful but in most cases it's not really a big deal and then once you do that you are sure that the cable is fine or maybe you just replace the cable then you turn on the machine and then you wait for the machine to happen now if the machine is okay most of the times this head will move and then the problem will go away now the question is how do i know which side of the cable i'm supposed to remove because this same cable that is here is also directly on the board well the truth is you can't know so you have to test this side and then test that side to be able to know which one so if you test this side and the error still persists you go back to this other one and then you test that side now what happens if you are sure it's the cable but you don't have money to buy a new cable then you go watch my video on how to use a bad cable right how to use a bad cable then you use that method to scrape off the cable and then use the same pin you don't have to change this long cable if you really understand what i did in that video i'm going to link it leave a link for that video somewhere here already now there is another way you can have that error because this is not the only way you can have that error the other way is if you did not connect this chip properly now on this chip we have left and we have right this is left right and then this is right now on this tiny little chip right there's a chip there that chip where the cable is connected to as you see right now that chip has a left and a right as well now if you mistakenly put right where left is and left where right is on this particular machine it's not going to work it's going to give you error link fail that is easy just swap it swap it from left to right so if you have error link fail check that this cable is properly connected especially if your machine has that effect check that these two cables are properly connected uh and then check whether these cables are good now if you have tested these two cables you've tested the printer head cables they were properly connected and then you've tested the boards that is the carriage board and the driver board and they were properly connected and the cables are new and you still get that error then the problem is coming from either of those boards how do you know which board is bad well you're going to have to test the boards somewhere else so that you can be able to know which board is really giving you the hassle usually once you test it in another place that is working fine if they are nice to you they might recommend to test theirs in your place but you see boards are quite tricky and you may damage their board in the process of trying to troubleshoot so you might want to be careful in these things so that you don't damage your own board and then damage their board so you now get to buy two boards you know eventually so i don't want that to happen to you it can be very nerve-wracking i don't want that to happen to you so but that's pretty much it error link fail is this board right here is not communicating with this board check the cables the cables are fine check the printer head is it connected on the right sides yes if not then test the boards and you should be out of it i usually i really hope it's not the boards because boards are quite expensive now uh but uh this is large format somebody once said that if you have a large format you'll be ready for large problems and it might be true all right guys so uh, that's about it what i wanted to share with you today if this has helped you like i said once again uh turn on the notification bell hit the like button and then hit the subscribe button until we see next time peace have a lovely day happy easter my friends bye